Welcome to The Dave Show. I'm Dave. Today I'm here to talk to you about this solar street light. Uh, yes, you can have your very own street lights in your house or put it in your backyard or someplace where you have a, a dark area you want to illuminate. Now, the company did send me this product for review, but everything I say here is my own opinion and they have no say in what I say in the video. But they did want me to show you what it is, how it works, how you put it together and the whole thing. Um, it comes in this big box like this. Very basic, no big fancy printing or anything like that, but it's what's inside that matters. Now this thing is a 500 watt light, super, super bright. And it's also waterproof, comes with its own solar panel, so you don't even have to wire this in. It's all solar powered, you stick it wherever you wanna stick it, and, uh, and you got light, like for a huge bright, bright light. So let's take a look and see what we get inside the box, and I'll show you how it all works. Okay, it was a big box and there's a lot of stuff in this. Uh, first off, you do get an installation instructions, a little performance instructions, applications, how to install it. One sheet here, it's, it's actually very, very simple to do, but we're gonna take a look at uh, some of these bits and pieces closer here in just a minute. Uh, you do get a little welcome thing with some information and warranty and so forth there. That's kind of nice. Um, you do get a remote control, and I'm going to show you more about how this works in just a minute as well. And um, the, the main components, of course, is the solar panels. And I don't know if you can tell, or you can see how big this is. And I'll put it up here. This is, this is a big solar panel. So this is going to gather a lot of light, a lot of energy from the sun and to charge these batteries, because again, this is a battery operated system. You don't have to power this up or run electricity or anything. You just have to mount these things together, make sure that it's in the sun and you got yourself a super, super bright light that I mentioned is 500 watts. Yeah, that's really super bright. Now here's the light itself. I'm gonna show you more here, a little close up of it. Um, so there's six big panels with a ton of lights, uh, LEDs in there. It's rated IP65, which is waterproof. <laughs> you don't have to worry about this in the rain. It's in the rain, not a big deal. Uh, has a, a nice uh, glass panel to it there. And then the back is uh, pretty nice. It looks like it's a, it's a, I don't know if it's plastic or metal, but it looks pretty solid. Um, and then of course, here's the, the mounting section to it. And it's for a, uh, if you can see in there, um, mounting into a pipe, which you also get, let's take a look at that. You get a mounting pipe. This goes into there like that. Actually, probably like that, because that faces down. And this bracket, along with all these other pieces here, is for mounting the uh, solar panel. So you can mount the solar panel right on this pipe and the light at the same time. So you have a solar panel up above, a light down below, and it does everything for you. It takes care of it. Now for mounting this, you can mount it up against a wall um, with this bracket here. They give you lots of um, uh, mounting things here. There's like these gigantic bolts for mounting into a wall, but then you also get these other bolts to mount with this bracket here. And you can mount this on a, a pole of some kind. Um, this is kind of squarish, but you can mount this even on a round pole or on a square pole if you have that kind of thing, like a, like a four by four or something like that. So there's several ways to mount this unit on here. Um, you just have to follow the instructions to mount all these bits because you, you just gotta put your screws in and get everything's included. They do give you a tiny little wrench here. Um, and to be honest with you, you probably wanna bring your own wrench. If you have an adjustable wrench or a socket wrench to get in there, there's something that's a lot larger. You can get some leverage to tighten this down. That's pretty good. Cause it's, it's not super heavy, but it's not light either. When you mount this up to your wall or do a pole, you wanna make sure it's mounted really well, especially if you have a lot of wind. I'm in Las Vegas, we get a lot of wind. But, um, so they do give you the, the, the bolts and all this kind of stuff and an Allen wrench to put all this stuff together. Okay, now the solar panel is not connected to the light. It's two separate things. So if you do have to put this solar panel elsewhere, like the light is someplace where the solar the sun's not gonna get to you and you need to mount this somewhere else, you can. It does come with a, a little bit of a cable to it and it, you would do attach it to the light itself. It just goes in one way and then you have a little cap here. It makes it waterproof um, and that's how you connect 
the solar panel to the light so you can get this thing to charge. Now a closer look at the lamp part itself and the remote control. Um, the, there's some things on the remote control that aren't being used on this particular unit because they use it for other things as well. Like this little red button. Oh, that's just a test, just a test button really. Uh, but check out your on off. So we can turn that on. It's bright, turn it off. So once it's on, you do have your controls. You can go um, um, up higher, it's already at the highest setting or halfway, easy like that. Or you can step it down. I think they said that there's like eight steps, but if you press and hold it, it goes down um, to a lower level. And then you have your auto switch here. Now this, what this does is it sets your, um, your automatic system. So this will go on when it gets dark and it goes off when it gets light. Uh, and it also says in the instructions or on the ad here that it's uh, motion sensitive. So um, if it's at a lower light, if it's at half light and someone walks by it, it should go up higher to the max light. But you also have three different hour settings, three hours, five hours, or eight hours. You can set it to just go on for a certain amount of time, and then it'll reset the next uh, night when um, when you're ready to go. Um, so that's how you control. But again, you can see that it's super bright. It's, it's actually blinding me. So as you can see, it's a really simple and easy thing to use and operate, and it's super duper bright. Uh, for a good street light. The next step is just to figure out where you're going to put it and how you want to mount it. If you want to mount it to a, a wall or a pole, if you have a pole or if you need to get a pole, that is completely up to you. Uh, I'm going to mount this temporarily um, on a structure because I don't know exactly where I'm going to be putting this yet, but I want to mount this up and outside in my backyard and we're going to test it tonight to see uh, when it gets dark uh, how this works. So uh, next thing you know, it's going to be dark and we're going to take a look. Okay, I got the LED street light mounted up actually in the back of my house and it's it's just mounted on a ladder temporarily, but it's way up there pretty high, like eight, 10 feet up high. And uh, just for demonstration purposes till I can find a place to put it. But I'm gonna go out here to the back of the house where it's super dark and we're gonna turn this on and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm in the backyard and uh, you can see it's super dark, just a little bit of light actually coming from the yellow street lights um, out in the back. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this lamp, Oops. here we go. Now you can be able to see it there and it lights up really good. This is 500 watts of illumination out here. And then um, the, I'm gonna press, I'm, I've got the remote control here. That's full power, you can see. And then of course it has the dimming features and uh, you have the auto feature for automatically turning on and off and all that like we talked about before and the timers and things but i just want to show you that's what again that's you know way up at the top of my uh here hold on way up even higher than my roof almost super super high but uh that's what it looks like to light up a backyard in the middle of the night <laughs> so if you're looking for a super bright led light for your yard front yard backyard wherever this one may be the right one for you